What's up, Lorraine here from the Digital Explorer. Today, I'm going to be talking about how you can choose a domain name for your affiliate marketing business. We'll run through how you can narrow down your search, what you should avoid when choosing your domain name, and also a couple of factors you need to consider within your decision. And we'll run through an example search of what I would do if I was looking for a domain name. But before we get into this, please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, hit that bell, and you will be notified of future videos I create. So let's get into this. Now here are a few of the things I look for when looking for a domain name. I wouldn't go any more than three words. Um, I keep it as short as possible easy to pronounce and spell. The reason for this is that when your audience is Googling your name, they can easily find it and it's easy to remember. If you're intending on marketing to a global audience, I would recommend going for a .com domain simply because it's the most trusted domain and people are more inclined to trust your website with a .com. There are plenty of other domain types out there, such as local domain types. For myself personally, it will be .ie because I'm in Ireland, but I chose to go with a .com because I want to reach a global audience. Another point here is consider how it reads when it's in the domain format. What I mean here is when you have your domain name, how does it read when it's in the .com format? For example, if you chose a domain name called Business Success, You'll notice within the middle, there is going to be three S's and it may not look quite right in the domain name format. I know personally, when I was choosing my domain name, the Digital Explorer, I went through a couple of options that looked really, really good. But when I put it together in the .com format, it didn't read that well. And the last one we have here is it needs to be unique and brandable. And what I mean by that, it, it's going to be your website at the end of the day. So it needs to say something about who you are. This is one of the reasons why I picked my domain name, The Digital Explorer. I have been going around for years exploring the internet, trying to make money online, but I couldn't figure out how to make it a sustainable long-term business. So now that I have a guidance and I know exactly what I'm doing, I feel that I can help other people who are lost and can't figure it out. And by the way, if you're interested in building a long-term sustainable business the right way, click the link below, but there's free training you can get started today. It's exactly how I got started and it's my top recommended training. So when you're picking your domain name, I believe it's more important that it speaks to who you are and what you represent. If you think about it, these brands right here who are massively successful, they did not become successful overnight because they picked the perfect domain name. They became successful over the years by delivering top quality service or products to their audience and build their brand. So all I'm trying to say here is don't overthink the whole process. It's about what content or service you're providing your audience more so than what your domain name is going to be. Now, assuming you have zero idea of where you even start looking, what my recommendation is, is go with the main keyword of your niche topic. So just for example, if you have an interest in setting up an affiliate marketing business within the health niche, and you want to provide helpful tips to people who want to live a healthy vegan lifestyle, then what I would recommend is go for the word vegan as your starting point. What I found when I was picking my own domain name, I was forgetting some good ones that I couldn't remember. So I recommend that you document at least 20 potential ideas so that you can go back over time over the next few days and dwindle them down and see which one fits best for yourself. There are plenty of different websites available where you can check out ideas, but the ones that I found the best to come up with an idea were Google Trends, Name Mesh, Bust a Name and Name Checker. All of these websites are free to use and they all have their own purpose when coming up with domain name ideas. And for this example, I'll stick with the keyword vegan and we'll go through all these and see exactly what we're looking for. Now I'm on Google Trends. I'm going to put in the word vegan and we're brought to this page right here and I go down to related query section. Not only is this a great tool to come up with ideas for content for your website because it shows you trending topics right now. So for example, vegan, we can go through this list right here and you can determine whether any of these keywords will be a right fit for your domain name. 
We have athletes right here if your niche is specifically for athletes. We have kitchen. Are you going to be focusing on recipes for your website? Then maybe kitchen might be a good idea. But you get what I mean. You can come up with different keywords within this list and write them down and then go through them in more detail and narrow them down later on. Okay, the second site I go and check for ideas would be Namesh. Why I like this site is because they do give you different variety of ideas that you mightn't come up with and they break them down into different categories. So I'll type in vegan once again and it generates a list of different potential ideas you can use for your website. And you also can add additional keywords if you want to widen the search and get extra ideas. They have broken them down into common, new, short, extra, fun, and you have similar mix AI. Now, just to remember, I wouldn't go with anything that doesn't have the .com. So these ones will be out of the equation for me personally. Also, I would avoid anything with hyphens in them or any special characters because the simpler, the better when it comes to picking a domain name. And this is another site that I would use bust a name and you can put in your keyword right here and you can add it to the list and you can follow on by putting in extra keywords as you go along and it will generate different ideas for you. So I'll type in a few words here and we'll see what the system comes up with. And the more keywords you put in on the left hand side, it will automatically generate different ideas what you can potentially use as your domain name. And you can set the preferences here from the bottom. I have .com and two words combined. And also what you can do right here is you can hover over the keywords you've already put into the system and it will automatically generate different ideas based on that keyword. And you can add them into your list and the system will automatically generate new ideas as your domain name. And last but not least, we're on to Name Checker. This site is great for when you have a few ideas in mind and you can enter them into the search bar and the system is going to automatically generate what that keyword is available on and what is not available on. And that might determine whether or not you want to go ahead with that. I've entered vegan family habits as a potential idea for my domain name and we're going to see what name checker comes back with. I select the search bar and it comes back with a green tick with the ones that it's available for. Number one, which is the most important, it has a .com domain available. And not only that, you can also use these keywords, vegan family habits for Facebook, Tumblr, YouTube, any of the ones here with a green tick. So Name Checker is a great way to find out what platforms you can use these keywords to match your domain name. Once I have around 20 or 30 different potential ideas for a domain name, I go to a site called USPTO.gov and this is where we can do a trademark check. This is just a quick way where you can check any potential domain names if they have any live listings with your keywords in mind. And also you can simply just do a Google search with the keywords and see is there any company that is dominating that keyword where there could be potential confusion if you were to build your business and there was another company with the same keywords but a different business. I am on USPTO.gov and I've entered the keywords vegan family habits to see if there's anything that comes up. I submit a query and it comes back no test records. That shows me that I'm happy enough to go ahead with that keyword knowing that there's nothing live at the minute registered with them particular keywords. When it comes to the domain price, it can be difficult to find popular domain names that are either available or at a reasonable price. But what I would say is you don't need to spend a small fortune on a domain. If it is unavailable or if it is priced at hundreds or even thousands, skip it and move on to the next one. Namecheap is where I would go to buy my domain name because it is affordable and they don't have any extra hidden costs involved. And finally, with my list of 20, I would dwindle that down to my best three that I prefer. And then I would ask for a second opinion from maybe a colleague or a friend or someone you trust to give you an honest opinion. Um, at the end of the day, what you need to do is just make a decision. Don't overthink the whole process and spend weeks or even months coming up with a domain name. So guys, that's the process I went through when picking my own domain name. And I hope you found this video helpful 
and it'll bring you on the right track to getting loads of ideas and starting your affiliate marketing business with a name that you are happy with. And if you like this video, please again, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, hit that bell notification, and I will see you guys on the next one. Take care.